Hi everyone, it sure is great you're hanging out with me here on YouTube. I'm Joshua for Clater and Sun Gaming, and today we are checking out a sweet Empoleon list from the Philadelphia Regional. Michael Dones played it to a 77th place finish, and it looks just fun enough to put around with in the standard format. So let's go ahead and get to the deck list. We can see it here, and it will be down below if you want to scroll down and just copy paste the list and play it yourself. That's fine too. So we've got a couple of Tapu Leles. You know what it does. It's a great Pokemon, great ability, Wonder Tag. Goes and gets a supporter, gets you what you need. Tapu Coco, Flying Flip, deals 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. In concert with Shrine of Punishment, you're putting 30 a turn, you're really racking up the pressure there, making sure that your opponent has to answer either your Tapu Koku or your Shrine without losing too many of their GXs to attacks. Alolan Vulpix, Beacon, you search your, your deck for two Pokemon, reveal and put it in your hand. Really helps out getting your Empoleon line here. We start up with Piplop, move to Prinplop, and then the big hitter, Empoleon, total command, 20 damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. So if you've got a full bench, that's 100 damage. If your opponent's got a full bench, that's 100 damage. If you both got a full bench, you're knocking out GXs. Awesome stuff. Aqua Patch lets you ramp up your water energy, so you don't have to worry about discarding water to Ultra Ball. You can just Aqua Patch it back into play. Nest Ball goes and gets a basic, so you can start your evolution chain. Rare Candy lets you skip stage one and go directly to stage two. Rescue Stretcher, you buy back what you need. Brooklet Hill also helps. It acts as another uh, nest ball and can deal with other stadiums that are in play. We've got, oh, Acrobike. Just nice card filtering. One copy of Copycat, three of Cynthia, three of Guzma, two of Lily, two of Professor Kukai. And three choice bands rounds out the non-energy parts of the deck. Counter energy, it provides colorless. If you have more prizes uh, than, you ha th than your opponent has, if it's attached to a non-GX or EX, it provides every type of energy but only provides, but provides only two energy at a time. And then you've got water energy, or as I would call it, in like magic terms, blue energy. Let's get a couple of quick games underway. Almost loaded the wrong deck there. Alright, we've got the advantage coin. And as we know with the advantage coin, that means I lose. I did win the flip though, and I do want to play first. <coughs> hey, Piplup. Oh, Buzzwall and our homie Trubbish. So let's go ahead and bike. We're going to take that Lele. And we're going to throw a water energy on Piplop. We'll go ahead and Lele. Yes. Discard. Two. Yeah, we'll get Lily. Alright, 
right, so we will discard al or Alter Ball, discarding Water and Rescue Stretcher. Uh, let's go ahead and get another Piplop. We'll play that. Aqua Patch. Throw that Water Energy. Lily for seven. That's a bunch of choice bands. We could retreat, but that doesn't seem very smart. So we'll just pass. Choice band on Buzzwool and their own Acrobike. <coughs> Unit energy. And there's a shrine of punishment, so that's gonna start ticking away on my Tapu Lele. the best way to do things. I guess we'll go ahead and rare candy there. We'll go ahead and retreat. Bring our Empoleon to the front. Evolve. And we've got a hundred damage from total command. I have no cards in hand though, so we are going to be relying on the top of our deck to get things done. And that's not where we want to be. Sledgehammer on Apollyon deals 50 this time, thanks to the Beyonce. We've got a counter energy. We're going to go ahead and throw that on that, and we'll just go ahead and knock out the Buzzwall. Got 140 there. We'll take our prize. It's a rare candy. Not great. We really want to start catching up cards-wise. out my Empoleon, that would be the worst. Okay, so 120 on Empoleon. Go ahead and Aqua Patch. Go ahead and charge up our Prim Plup, and we'll total command for 120. Guzma, that's not terrible.
Rescue Stretcher brings back a Buzzwall. I really wouldn't mind seeing a Brooklyn Hill. We're going to go ahead and Guzma back. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so 140 here. I think we're going to take the Trubbish because Trash Alanche really scares me. Hey, there's a Brooklet Hill. That way we can at least turn off Shrine of Punishment. Alright, there goes my Empoleon. It took three. We're super happy with. Alright, so we will Brooklet Hill. And we will Lele. Yes, please. Let me find a supporter. We've got one, two, three, four, five in hand, so copycat. Doesn't seem great. We'll just Cynthia. Take the Guzma. And we're going to throw that there. A little beacon for Primplop and Empoleon. Shrine, but we've got a Brooklet Hill to get that back off the board. Alright, so let's have Empoleon here. Primplup here. Aqua Patch. On the Primplop. We're going to Guzma. We're going to take the Slugma because I don't want them to draw out of things. Alright, and that earns the concession. So we are 1 0 in this little test drive. Hey, and we had the advantage point, and I didn't lose. That is almost a miracle. And we see it's just a, a stock Shrine of Punishment single prize attacker deck. We're done. Next game. Smash that play button. They have the advantage bar this time. And they get to call the coin flip. Lucky duck. I won. We will be playing first. There's my homie Piplop. So, 
Sparklet Hill. Energy here. Let's go ahead and fill out another Piplup. Choice Band. Lily. Piplup. Bike. One Nest Ball here. I hate discarding a Guzma, but getting another draw supporter. Like next turn, we'll probably just get Cynthia. And we're just going to hold off on it. Because if they have Shrine, you know, we take an extra 10. Apricorn Maker, going to go get them some balls. A couple nest balls. Which makes my Empoleon a little bit better. They have the potential to just crush me in card advantage. Alright, let's go ahead and rare candy here. Little Brooklet Hill for a Vulpix. Yes. Show play mat. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to hold off on copycat because they're going to start just drowning me with Zoroarks. Alright, we got ourselves a second energy. So we'll show that Rock Roof who's boss. <clears throat> Hey, Cynthia, that's a great prize. Looking at 80 damage, 100. Off right is beating. Mallow works well with the trade ability because you just stack your deck for the two cards you want. Hundred on that duder. We'll go ahead and Cynthia. And we'll... I was going to say, well, Aqua Patch, but we apparently don't have any water energy there. Boom, Empoleon for 210. We're taking two prizes. We get a Guzman and a Water Energy. So we get to fill up this Empoleon again. I wish 
I could play Skyfield in this deck. That would make Empoleon even more obscene. They get a Cynthia author Lele. Now if they knock out this Empoleon, I need to remember to Brooklet Hill to get the hopefully lethal. Cool. Got another concession there. Uh, Moo Trainer doesn't show their deck. Alright, let's do one more game. I've got the advantage button. We'll call heads. Sweet, I get to play first all three games. How delightful. Ooh. That's not great. This was a really tough hand. Let's go ahead and Brooklyn Hill. We'll activate it. Get our Piplup. We'll Nest Ball. Get a Vulpix. We'll Bike. We'll take that Cynthia. Put a Choice Band here. We'll Aqua Patch. Piplup. And we'll go ahead and draw fresh six. And we'll nest ball again. Our Koku is apparently a prize. And we're, we're done. Your ball. Anything to rescue? There is not. What are we going to do? Got a counter energy in our Piplup. It's a rare candy. Empoleon. <coughs> it's Brooklyn Hill. Yes. 
And let me see the play now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a hundred and no wait. Yeah, it's 160. So I could go get Guzma, bring in my Empoleon, kill their kill their Lele, and take two prizes. I think that's what we're gonna do. Copycat for four cards doesn't seem great. Is there? I see ya, clock. I see ya. Alright, I don't like the Guzma play, but we're gonna do it. Or maybe we... Nah. We'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll go ahead and take the two. And hope that they don't have two rare candies. Those are not our best prizes. Tempest draws them 10. Copycat would be a pretty okay draw now. We did not draw copycats, which is okay. We're just going to go ahead and bash. I believe it's 170? Yeah. Now they're going to start their Vika Volts, which is not where I wanted to be. or Dragon Break is 30. So 30, 60, 90, 120. A strong charge is 150, 180. They've got two charge Rayquazas. And my hand is just the worst right now. The best plan is probably to Vulpix and try to charge this Primplup up. So we'll Aqua Patch. Or to Rescue Stretcher. I guess I could just go get Napoleon. We'll 
really bike aqua patch Beacon? You took away all my hard work. All right, Marshado. At least with Guzma, we can peck away this one. Because we're going to lose our Empoleon again. picks out because we're just going to Guzma. We get Ultra Ball to Pinplop? But I don't, uh, that's not what, what, what we want to do. Let's go ahead and put that Volpix in play. So we'll Guzma, take that guy, bring our cute little penguin Pokemon back, and we'll pack. Good Kakai and Ultra Ball. We're not dead yet. We've got a huge uphill battle to climb. But I think we can get there. We're just gonna have to draw pretty good. We would have to draw rare candy in energy. We're taking a risk here. All right, we got the rare candy. So we can discard Ultra Ball and Cuckoo. We'll go get Empoleon. We'll rare candy our Piplup. We're going to done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one sixty. 
So we also have to get a choice band and an energy. So a fresh six. I believe we're going to be 10 short. No, 20 short. But Shrine of Punishment, if it sticks around, we've got the knockouts. If they've got Field Blower, we do not have the knockouts. Guzma. Kills my Lele. We'll put our Empoleon back in front. Shrine everything. And that's the game. We got pretty lucky to get there, but we got there in the end. And that is what is important. And this is just a stock Rayquaza list. Alright y'all, thank you again for stopping by our little corner of YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you appreciate appreciated this look at a under-the-radar deck from Philadelphia. We'll see you next time with some other decks. We'll see. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'm Joshua for Clater and Sons Gaming. We'll see you then.